Welcome into Extra Time. Alexis Yuna is here with Ale Moreno, Stevie Nichol, and Gav Marcotti. Guys, ready to field some questions. Are you okay? I'm excited. <laughs> I, was, I, don't, I, don't, I love I Extra what, Time. Dan doesn't do that. Dan no. doesn't shimmy? No, no. Dan doesn't do no. that. It's probably because yeah, you've been singing yeah, Lady in yeah, Red yeah, to me all day. Yeah, oh, oh, Ale, you oh, can put a little more movement than that. Come on. I can. I can. Well. It's better than place place This is hey, not the time. Time and place for everything. Or the place. But I got. Hey, hey, oh. <laughs> it's a little something. Oh, snap. You've done that before. Oh. <laughs> I, I, done I just before. Say, don't get me going, please. Uh, <laughs> don't get him going. Woo! Don't get Gab going. We, got a bit of music. Right. we could get some. We have some music. Get some bongos and <laughs> get it going. Hey. <laughs> I'm just going to sit oh, here. Ali's and answer ready. The oh. All right. Let's dance our way through some questions. This one's coming from That Chicken Dude. Hey. Okay. Did you not? I wonder if he likes chicken. Why has Alexis Sanchez been so poor for United and will he continue to start if he keeps up this poor form? Well, to be honest, it's, it's, it's kind of, he's still finding his way in this team. And the well, fact, you expect and the a top fact, player like that to just fit in. Yeah, but the fact that Mourinho goes out with such a conservative outlook to start with doesn't help a player like Sanchez, who wants the ball in the final third, he wants to go at players and he wants to create chances. That doesn't happen with the United that often. He's been stifled. You, you've seen Alexis Sanchez in positions that you would have never seen him with Arsenal or really at Barcelona or with any other club that he might have participated or Chile. You see this guy slide tackling somebody in his own defensive half. That, that, that's not Alexis Sanchez's game. It's not. It's not his responsibility, nor is it his game, for him to go and look for the ball from center backs and defensive midfielders. He should be in an attacking position, in connection with Lukaku, running off of Lukaku, coming off from the from the sideline, and then maybe able to work underneath or work behind Lukaku. You don't see nearly enough of that right now with Alexis Sanchez at Manchester United. Gab, do you agree? Yeah, I, I broadly agree with what, with what Ali said. I'd throw two other factors uh, in there. Uh, one is that uh, Lukaku is really, despite his size, is really much more of a, of a front to goal uh, center forward. And when Alexis did his, his best work, he was either playing at center forward or, or playing alongside, certainly at Arsenal, uh, a guy like Olivier Giroud, who's, who's much more about bringing other play players in uh, into the game and playing with his back to goal. And I think the other thing is, when he's been on the left, uh, and it, this isn't really his fault, but it's something you're going to have to work on, but um, that's the area that Paul Pogba likes to break into when, 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 when he's on Paul Pogba on the left-hand side of the three in midfield. And I just think that there's timing issues. I, I think it's affected both of them. I think they'll be fine in, in the long run, but they obviously need, uh, need minutes uh, together as well. So with Mourinho knowing, of course, that this is not Sanchez's desired is this, way your, of is this your own question? This is my, this is other oh. Alexis. Alexis right. asked me Excuse me, Alexis. you've got to send the questions Can he realistically you drop him after questions. that? Huh? Can he realistically drop him when he knows that he's not getting the best out of him? He knows I, it's his I, fault. He dropped Pogba. Yeah, but... Mm, What's the difference? Fair point. I don't think he drops Alexis Sanchez. All right, let's move on. To Sanger Salvi. drop Alexis Sanchez. I think so too, Gab. The way you ask the question. <laughs> the you ask I want to hear from you. You guys are the pros. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Asking for a friend, Alexis. <laughs> for a fellow Alexis. Okay, Sagar Salvi wants to know, so now Mourinho is the second best coach in the Premier League? Says who? I guess based on the standings. Very much. <laughs> it's very much in the, an individual opinion. Well, he's One of which asking. I don't particularly share. So who would your second best be then? Um, assuming Pep would be your first, yeah, assuming based Pep. on performances. No, no, obviously I would go with Klopp. <laughs> wow, that's no I, bias whatsoever. And you know why? Because you know what? We might not win the league this year, but I'll tell you what, everybody loves watching them play. I love watching them play. Unless you're a <laughs> no, can you unless say, you can love you defending. Say, can you, hand on heart, say you love watching your Man United? Because you're a Man United fan. You tell me, hand on heart, do you enjoy watching the way United play? I like watching where we are positioned in the table. Ah, see, that's you. a different. No. Uh, see, that's a th completely see, different. See, I went, answer. I went with Klopp for the more exciting football when I did the tail of the tape with Shaka, and everyone just came at me like, "How can you be a Man United fan?" So I agree with you, but 
at the back, Stevie. Someone like you should appreciate good defending, which Liverpool just has none right now. <laughs> oh. Ali, what about you? Who do you think is the second best? Wait a minute. <laughs> so, wait a minute. Is this what it has become for Manchester United fans? That they have to appreciate what's going on <laughs> in the back line. <laughs> huh? Huh? Appreciating the work changed. of buying. It's not pretty, uh, but we're not trying to be Arsenal and play champagne football with water results. Yeah. So, Tell you what, and this if is, that's going to get me way, to finish This is second. coming from a Man United fan. <laughs> you spouting all this. You're not a United fan. I just changed. He's broken me. Are you <laughs> He's broken me. You're I mean, who's the second best coach for you? Don't ignore me. You can't ignore me. No, no, no. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. If it's getting the results, so then... you're basically accepting that you don't play great football to watch, so you'll take the result. I will take the result. Aye. Now I will take That's the result. Fine. It's been a couple of tough years, and if we can finish second, only to, you know, a Manchester City oh that's absolutely <laughs> second. <laughs> no, it's okay to be second. Well, how wow. the mighty have fallen. We know oh. this. You should know this too. Tell you should what. celebrate second. You'd be celebrating Tell second if you were what. there, Stevie. Oh, wow. This just got personal. This just be, got why personal. Would it, since when? Why would it be celebrating? You sound like Arsene Wenger hey, now celebrating for the spot. <laughs> I will say. He would love to celebrate for. Oh, the, oh, how the mighty he have would, fallen! He would love to. He would love to celebrate <laughs> for Wenger. I, I, I got to be honest with you. It's Seeing kind of personal, huh? that, no, I'm not, Well, yes, you're taking this very personal. But no. the fact that a Manchester United fan sits here and says, "I'm okay with being second at anything," yep. a club that has that history and has achieved as much as that club has. I don't know. Second in the Premier League is better than finishing seventh or having to use the Europa know. League to qualify. That, for the that Champions shouldn't be the standard for Manchester United. Well, it is now. The mighty have fallen. It Once you hit told. rock bottom, you just celebrate little things. Wow, I sound like Arsene Wenger. Gab, what about you? <laughs> Who do you think is the second best manager in the league? Yes, sorry to disappoint you, Alexis. I'm not going to go with Mourinho because when you praise their defending this year, um, I don't oh, no, think I don't. United have defended particularly well. I don't think Mourinho's particularly happy with the way they've defended. Um, I think he's very aware that he's got a tremendous goalkeeper and maybe things will improve when we buy back. But look, I'm going to go show my love for uh, the little guys. Um, if you want to talk second best manager, it also has to do with resources. Uh, I'm going to go with Sean Dyche or Carlos Carvajal or, because I know Ali's going to bring this up in a minute, Pochettino. <laughs> See, you know, they're hard. Oh, they're hard. It has, has such, a, such a strong vibe when it comes to Pochettino <laughs> and Gab. I mean, it just pulls. It's, it's gravity. It's, it's, it's amazing how much this guy loves Pochettino. Pochettino. And I know for a fact that Gab loves Conte as well. But because <laughs> given the circumstances of Chelsea, he's just going to let that one go. But yeah. there's love there too. But Pochettino is number one. Oh, how can you know? Gav's got all these warm oh, yeah. and tingly feelings. Mm -hmm. All right, let's move on now to Shaquille Davis. Oh, hey. He wants to know if we have any NCAA tournament predictions. UNCG, baby. We're in the dance. Number 13 seed will play Gonzaga first round. I'm taking the Spartans, baby. That's it. That's an upset right there. Put it down. Stevie? Lock it in. What's up? Tennis. Oh, what is it? Is it basketball? Who? What's up? NCAA. There's only 100,000 different sports in the NCAA. Basketball, Stevie. Basketball. Basketball. Oh, March, yes. Madness. March Madness time, March isn't Madness. it? March Madness. Gab, what about you? School uh, us, because Stevie Alexis. and I obviously did not go to university no. here. Who should we root for, um, Gab? I just for gave me, you one. Well, I actually, I actually watched this game today as uh, my alma mater, Penn, beat the Harvard Crimson. Uh, a little bit like uh, a team from Philadelphia beat a team from Boston in the Super Bowl, I'm told. Uh, and uh, oh. <laughs> we're back. We're back in the NCAA tournament, baby, after 11 years. So uh, yeah, if you're a Kansas Jayhawk fan, be afraid. Be very, very afraid. Of course, they're one seeds. We're 16, but whatever. Until Thursday night, I can hope. Is UConn in this? I don't think so. Aww. The women are. I don't think Aww. the men did, did very well this year. The They're struggling. The women are on the cigars, aren't they? Stevie, are you supporting the Jayhawks? Who? <laughs> Who's there? <laughs> Kansas Jayhawks. A little birdie just told Come me. Come on now. Never heard of them. <sighs> Boy. <laughs> on that note, <laughs> Stevie and I will be starting our own NCAA basketball show, but you can tune into some more ESPN FC on Monday, 6 p.m. Eastern Time on ESPN News.